Hey guys, hey Divine Masculines, how are y'all doing? Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so just as I just, <laughs> just as I, I, I press this record button here, I gotta sing. 52 52. So, you Divine Masculines, you may be seeing synchronizing numbers. You and your Divine Feminines are reflecting each other. There's some divine intervention that's happening between you and your divine feminine. You may also be seeing the number 52 and 52. Let's jump in. Let's see what's going on between you and your divine feminines here. Let's see what they're thinking. What's going on with them? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. Let's see what's going on. 606. Victory. Victory. Your divine feminines are feeling victorious. One, one, one. Oh my God, I'm loving the sync. So you look at this. Your divine feminines are feeling happy, total happiness, inner peace, inner joy, harmony, full stop. No wonder they're feeling victorious. No wonder they're feeling victorious. Oh, they're taking a leap of faith here. Your divine feminines here are, are, are getting some sort of clarity in regards to something. Like they're making up their mind in regards to something here. Something that they're happy about. Something that they're passionate about. The Knight of Pentacles. Something they've been putting in hard work towards. They've been working very hard at this situation. They know it's coming. They're looking out for it. They're looking out for this change. Again, it's in regards to their passion. Look at that king of swords in the reverse. So you got the counterparts out here. King of swords and the queen of swords. These divine feminines, they may be in this king of swords energy. But there's a change that's coming towards these divine feminines. With this king of swords energy in the reverse, it's like these divine feminines. It's like before, they were in this energy of being harsh. You know? Not wanting to, not wanting to be hurt, so protecting themselves and just pushing people off. They were feeling weak, manipulated. But that change, that inevitable change, is allowing them to change from this energy. I'm also getting that this may be some of your energy as well, Divine Masculines, that you're evolving out of, growing out of, that you're changing. The manipulation, being cruel, being harsh, being deceptive. Mm -hmm. Yes, six of cups, returning to someone from the past. You have this person on your mind, Divine Masculine. Maybe you're thinking about the past here as to what happened between you and your feminine. Which is why your Divine Feminine, they're putting in the hard work here so this can change. Because they're gaining the clarity and the understanding. And knowing that once they decide to make that change within themselves and take that leap of, uh, of faith towards making that change, then it will automatically reflect on you and put you in the upright. As much as they are in the upright here. So they are feeling victorious and happy. Hard work. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they want to bring you justice here. Divine Masculines, your Divine Feminine are putting in a lot of work here to help you become a better person, to help you forget about the past, 
to help you to stop living in regret. No longer living in regret. Getting out of that energy to help you so that you can express your emotions and five, five, five. That big old change that's happening in your life, divine masculine, that you're feeling is because your divine feminines are also working and feeling that energy, that change. It's time to reveal your rewards. Divine masculine, prepare for a change. Prepare for a change. Your divine feminines are working on their insecurities. They're working on freeing themselves. They're working on seeing the truth. And once they do that, then you, divine masculines, will change, will heal, and you will see the truth. Look at this now, 555 five, five approaching. 555. Five, five. There's massive changes happening within your divine feminine. And it's reflected on you. So your divine feminine is no longer sitting in this energy of regret. They're working on themselves. They're finding answers. They're seeking guidance. And that's why they're feeling victorious. Because they're healing. They're learning to express their emotions. They're learning to give themselves that love that they have been giving away. See what I'm saying? They're learning to give themselves that love that they have been giving away. The six of pentacles, equal give and take. Balance. They're opening up their heart. My God, I'm getting so many things. Six, four, and six, and four. Oh my God, and six, and four. I didn't even see that. Okay. There's a lot of things here for you guys. For some of you divine masculine, six and four may be a specific number for you guys. I'm getting maybe birthdays. 707. Your divine feminine is really putting in some hard work here and it's paying off. It's gonna pay off. Tell me about this Queen of Swords for these divine feminines, please. It's paying off. They're getting mental clarity. They're seeing the truth. They're working on themselves and they're heading in a new direction. They're headed towards their abundance. A new start. One of prosperity, one of love. They're working on their finances, they're working on their emotions. Balancing the mind, body, and soul. Total harmony. Total harmony. Working on themselves. Having union within themselves. Knowing this union is coming between you and them. And their hard work is going to pay off. And then you regret. Open up their heart. Putting in that hard work. Putting in that hard work. Tell me about the skin of swords and why it's in the reverse. The page of cups. As I said, divine masculines, this is your energy. It's like you're you are thinking about the past and the things that went on between you and your divine feminine, and you weren't pleased with yourself in regards to uh, what happened between you two. So you're thinking about ending this situation because the divine feminines, they feel it. And once they feel it and they're working on themselves, then you'll become transformed. You'll be able to get out of this energy, this manipulative energy. And once you're out of that energy, here you come with that cup ready to offer your divine feminine, the cup of peace, that cup of let's be together, that cup of union, that cup of love. Along with an apology as well. See, they're putting in that hard work. Putting in that hard work and you will be fruitful. You will be prosperous, divine masculine. Everything is going to go your way. The way that it's supposed to. God's way. Your divine feminine is working on healing themselves. And that's why you, yourself, you're healing. Like I said, putting an end to the deception. Yes. Putting an end to the deception, the manipulation, you being stuck in your head, you being stuck in situations that you're not supposed to be in, it's done. It's done, Divine Masculines. You're out of your head. 
you're gaining that strength that you need to stand up on your own two feet here, to acknowledge truth for what it is, to break free and move on, 10-10, 10, 10. 10, 10 closing out cycles, returning to your abundance, your prosperity. Oh, jeez, I love this. Everything that's happening within you, Divine Masculine, is happening within your Divine Feminine. They're feeling this union. They're feeling this spiritual connection. And so are you. So are you, Divine Masculine. So because you both are going through this healing process. That's bringing forth union within, first of all. Self-love, self-happiness, self-peace, joy. You're not letting anything, 111 and 616. You're changing your thoughts the way that you were thinking, Divine Masculines. You're changing your thoughts. You're no longer in that negative energy, like I said, with the King of Swords. You're gaining that strength to break free. You're realizing that the past is holding you down. Negative thoughts, negative emotions are holding you down. The past, trying to please others, feeling guilty. If you should leave, you should, you should walk away. So you were feeling guilty. But you knew that there's a connection with you and this person. That's why you were feeling guilty here. So you were pleasing others instead of yourself. Because the person you were looking for showed up. They came. They opened up your eyes. You opened up their eyes. And you felt this commitment, this union within. But you were trying to please others. So you remained stuck where you were. But it's becoming a burden and you feel it too, too, too. And you feel that burden and you're releasing that burden. There you go, figuring it out on your own. Now you're on this new path. This path of balance, this path of peace. Self-love. Your divine feminine. are changing, healing, growing. They have been enlightened and so are you. And you both are going to create this brand new beginning because you both are on a new path. You both are on a new path. Things are going to be the way that they should. There you are. Because your divine feminine is feeling that inner joy, this inner peace. And they're not wasting any more time. They're not wasting any more time. They're rejecting all the things from the outside that have a, neg a negative impact on them, on their decisions, on their expressions, on their emotion, or I should say on the way they express themselves. Now it's just happiness. You see that forgiveness. They have forgiven you, they have forgiven themselves, they have forgiven others. And because of that, now they're experiencing total joy and happiness. Total joy and, and happiness. Realizing that they are the ones who make things the way that they are. Because they can manifest their true desire. They can manifest what they want. They can create what they want. So instead of looking like something is missing, like from this pie, like there's a piece missing, they realize that there's just a piece here and this one here. So it's still there. They just have to see things differently. That what they want, what they need is already there.
Where is my... Let's get to some messages here. Archangel Michael, trust in heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. So Divine Masculine, surrender your concerns. A miracle is occurring in your life. There's a blessing that's coming to you. Psychic insight. Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. Divine Masculines, follow your intuition. Your Divine Feminine opened up your third eye. And you open up theirs. You're seeing clarity. You, you're seeing truth for what it is. Isis, magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Stay focused. Divine Masculines, you are protected. Green Terra, supreme protection, you are protected. Cards are being cut. Move beyond limitations. Trust. So all those things that have been holding you back, that has been limiting you from moving forward, the past, people from the past, emotions from the past. The cards are being cut and those things are being released. Now move forward with a trust in God that everything will be okay. Love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. Exactly because what you think you manifest. Choose loving thoughts. Don't let the past hold you back. Don't let people from the past hold you back. Don't let actions from the past hold you back. Don't let those negative thoughts about your past hold you back. Sanat Kumara, light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. And Lady Venus downloads an understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm, which is why you're being told to move forward. Just trust and move forward. Kuan Yin, care and compassion. Choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. Choose to be love, divine masculine. Instead of choosing to remain alone and in sorrow because of your past. Choose love. See what the archangels have for you here. Wow. Gifts from God. Archangel Sandalphon. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. There's a gift coming your way, Divine Masculine. You're moving towards something that's a blessing. Take back your power, Archangel Raziel. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life and nurture Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. So some of you divine masculines may have children here, but you're being told, just nurture your child. That's what's important. And when you nurture your child, you get that feeling that's going to take you back. That's going to help you to really see and feel what true love is. And that's also going to help you to push you towards what you desire. 1919, divine order, Archangel Raguel. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. And that's 1010. You are completing something. Hello from heaven, your guides, your angels are protecting you, Divine Masculines. No need to worry, just trust. Some of you, Divine Masculines, may have also lost someone recently. They are now your guides and helping you on this journey. And they want you to trust and move forward. Take care of yourselves, Divine Masculines. Love you all. 
later. Let go and let God. If you would like to purchase my book or get a reading, the link is in the description box below. Now I can say later. Later.